Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Palm Master video. And today, uh, now that we're done with Johto, right? Let's uh, let's get into the Hoenn um, Saint Pearson and again look at some units that they could potentially have with their uh, BP versions once that comes out, right? So, uh, these are not of Hoenn units in comparison to uh, Johto units over here. So let's uh, let's get right into these. So, yeah, I don't know. Should we go off of Bible order? Or should should I just go in order of the random tabs I'd open? All right, let's just go in the order of the random the, the random tabs I opened. So starting off with Winona, um, Winona should be pretty clear what uh, what she probably should have, right? I mean, uh, Altira would probably, in my opinion, be the best choice. Swallow wouldn't be bad either. Skarmory honestly wouldn't be terrible as an option either, but clearly Altaria is the best choice over here, right? Um, Obviously, they couldn't give uh, Winona Altaria uh, originally because they had to give Lycia that. Because Lycia, ah, Lycia, literally the only Pokemon that Lycia has is Altaria. <laughs> At least Winona has options here with like Pe uh, Pelipper, Swallow, Skarmory. Lycia has nothing, so they had to give it. Uh, you know, you can't really begrudge Lycia for that, right? Uh, maybe Tropius, but again, uh, Altaria would obviously again be the by far best option. So, yeah, that's uh, Winona, quick and easy. Let's get to uh, Glacia then. Glacia, there are um, some choices, right? And by some choices, I mean one, <laughs> which is Wall Rain <laughs> outside of Glalie. Um, although, I guess if you look at the Omega Ruby Alpha, Alpha Sapphire teams, you could also go for like Frostlass. That would be interesting, right? Uh, if you go for that, and then the rematch, there's some Pokemon like Beard. Beer Tick, Obama Snow, Vanillox, that I don't think she would be getting. Uh, but in my opinion, Walrune would probably be the best. If not, Frostlass would be interesting because, you know, one has Glalie, the other one has Frostlass. They're both obviously uh, evolved from Snow Rent, right? Different uh, evolutions from the same line. So, moving on. Um, Xenia, we already know, right? They showed us uh, Salamence. So, yeah, hopefully Kamega, that would be nice, right? Uh, moving on to Wallace. Wallace. Uh, I do think we kind of have to be careful with what we give Wallace, because the thing is, we got Iris, right, before, and then we got a champion Iris after. The Wallace that we have in the game at the moment is the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire version, which is obviously a gym leader and not champion, so um, it is very, very, very likely that we will be getting a champion version of Wallace in the future as well, which probably would get a more, um, I don't know, I guess a more fitting Pokemon for 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 uh, Wallace, right? Something like a Wailord, like Champion Wallace and and Wailord would probably uh, be a solid option. Because I mean, Milotic's the best option, but they already gave Milotic their like regular Wallace, right? So if they're gonna give another Pokemon to um, the other <laughs> or the BP uh, regular Wallace, um, I do think Ludicolo would be a nice choice, right? Either Ludicolo or Wishcash could be nice. I do lean towards Ludicolo. Um, I don't think he would be getting Gyarados because I do think there are like other fire type trainers that could get Gyarados before him. Tentacruel, uh, it doesn't feel like, plus it's not like really Gen 3. Again, it doesn't have to be Gen 3, but you know, I do think Ludicolo probably would be a, a better option here, right? Either that or, or again, Wishcash. Maybe Sharpedo, maybe Swampert. It's just that this is from, you know, the, the black and white, uh, Pokemon World Tournament, right? Uh, which again, you could still pick up, but uh, again, Ludicolo, Wishcash, they're literally just there sitting as options. Although, I guess the one argument against Ludicolo would be, I mean, he never used Ludicolo when he was gym leader. Um, and this is like Champion Walls, Ludicolo slash Pokemon World Tournament Ludicolo. Um, also Delta Episode Ludicolo, but this is supposed to be like the mock champion battle. So I guess man, maybe Wishcash could have a better chance right love disc would be the other one um but uh, i've always been thinking like maybe maybe love this they could give him like um next year as like a palatine's version wallace and love this but if they're not planning to do a palatine's wallace love this i guess love this could also be a, an option for it right uh moving on next lucy lucy um we have uh, the silver symbol, obviously, Surviper is her, her main Pokemon, right? But uh, the other options are actually all pretty good, right? 
whether it be Milotic or Steelix or uh, or Gyarados. Again, I don't think Gyarados um, could w would be a better option over I guess, Milotic or, or Steelix. I do think Milotic probably would be a solid option, but Steelix would also not be bad either. Because like the thing with Lucy, like she has like serpent like Pokemon, right? So. Uh, Steelix, I do think would be would be nice as an option. All right, Milotic wouldn't be terrible either. So those two would be nice. All right, here's the interesting part. Lycia, she does not use any other Pokemon. So initially, I was thinking, um, maybe you know we could pair Lycia with Pikachu because we have the um the, the the cosplay Pikachu sort of thing. But then, um, I actually came across this merch that one of our Discord members actually sent us that actually has her posing with Sylveon. Um, it's official merch, right? It's, well, not merch, merch. It's what, whatever. I don't even know what this is. Handkerchief? Sticker? I don't know. Some, okay, so, so, some kind of um, merchandise. And yeah, it does have her posing with Sylveon. And obviously we do have Sylveon in the game with Valerie at the moment. So that could be something they could do, right? That could definitely be something that, that they could do. Um, I'd say it's more... <laughs> Uh, it makes a bit more sense than Pikachu, right? But yeah, it's just the interesting case that she doesn't really ever appear with any other Pokemon. Um, she has like literally five different Altarios, right? <laughs> which uh, which makes sense. Um, moving on, moving on. Uh, May. So the interesting interesting th uh, thing about May and Brendan is they they could both be Protags or Rivals, right? Um, rivals, it's a bit easier to choose what Pokemon they get, and Protags maybe a bit tougher, right? So as Rivals, let's actually just scroll to the final battle in Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, when they actually have the uh, starters, um, fully Mega Evolved. So here's what uh, she has for the final battle, right? Um, she's kind of like blue in a sense, right? If you guys remember uh, from the Kanto video, we went over Blue. Blue basically has um, two stable Pokemon, right? As uh, or two stable Pokemon like, like May does. Um, May has Swallow and Raichu throughout all her teams, right? If you pick Trico, she has Swallow Raichu. If you pick Torchy, she has Swallow Raichu. If you pick Mudkip, she has Swallow Raichu. And then she has the starter, Blaziken, Swampert, Zapdal, obviously. And then the last two slots are always two of three Pokemon. And then the two are picked are the two types that aren't the starter, right? So when it's Blaziken, the fire starter, you have the grass and water Pokemon here. When you have Swampert here, the water starter, you got the grass and fire one. So I don't think it would be one of the ones that rotate, right? Could it be a starter? Yes, it could. Could it be Blaziken? Hopefully. <laughs> I, mean, I personally would hope it's Blaziken. Um... But outside of that, I mean, again, Blaziken, Septile, you know, being obviously the regular version has Swampert. A starter would be an option, but just in case they don't go for the starters, uh, I see a lot of people talking about, oh, yeah, what about Latios, Latios. Um, I don't think that's... I don't think they could do that. I mean, well, they can, but I don't think they will be doing that because I do think that would be a bit more fitting for, like, a sing version of Brennan and May in the future. For like a banner or something, because I think if they actually do that, it should be pretty big, <laughs> pretty big of a deal, right? Um, but if it's not a starter, then maybe Swallow, I guess, maybe Swallow. And if not, maybe one of the Pokemon that she used in, in the um, uh, Battle Mason, right? Uh, whether it be Claydol or Exploud. But yeah, uh, I mean, personally, I really hope she gets Blaziken, but oh well. <laughs> Moving on, Wally. The Wally. Uh, I'm gonna go the Mega Roof Alpha Sapphire teams. So, Wally has has a pretty interesting array of Pokemon here, right? So we got the Glade, obviously is one that he has right now. Talonflame, Roserade, Azumarill, Garchomp, Magnezone. Garchomp will be kind of cool <laughs> for uh, for Wally, wouldn't it? Right. Um, although going back to the previous battles, uh, Delcaddy would also be an interesting option. Roserade could be an interesting option, right? Because especially, again, we do have Roserade in the game at the moment. Um, plus, uh, you know, Roserade looks like an upside-down Wally. Sort of. I mean, the hair is the body and the, the suit is... Uh, no, oh, okay, never. Ah, bad comparison. Um, <laughs> as for the Battle Mason, uh, he does run Gallade slash Magnezone. So I do think Magnezone probably does have a higher chance than some of the other one. 
uh, because obviously Glaze is main, and then the second one he picked was like Magnezone, so maybe Magnezone, and Magnezone was also in the battle tree as well, so maybe that, it's just that we don't have like Magnezone in the game. Um, although in Perfect World, we could have Gardevoir in there, but uh, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you could have Gardevoir. But yeah, that would be pretty cool, right? Having both Gallade and, and, and Gardevoir. Uh, like a psychic version of Gardevoir, right? You just call back to, uh, to, to uh, the Gen 3 Wally. Moving on, Steven Stone. Again, we won't be talking about like alt, right? Uh, just talk about the, the regular version. So, Steven Stone, you have a. Uh, yeah, you have some Pokemon here. Uh, obviously, the one he has right now is Metagross. Uh, the one I think 90% of us want to see is Aggron, <laughs> because Aggron's very, very cool. And. Um, no one else really is associated with Aggron as much, right? But yeah, Aggron would be really cool. Um, if you can make it, that'd be kind of awesome as well, right? Uh, if not, maybe Skarmory. But yeah, it's, I, I do think the chances of it being Aggron uh, would be pretty high, right? If not, then maybe Skarmory. Um, these three, maybe not, because I mean, it is like ground type and rock type and not like steel type. Although, I mean, obviously, he could use ground type, rock type. He literally uses ground type, rock type, right? He doesn't always have to be used steel type. But I do think the chance of uh, him picking a steel type Pokemon is slightly higher, right? Um, yeah, please use these two in, in the multi battles with you as well. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Anything interesting in the Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire battle? Uh, no, not really. No, not really. It's the same stuff for the most part. Um, Use Zeradactyl in, in the Battle Mason multi battle with you here, right? Uh, moving on. Roxanne. Roxanne. Obviously, you have Judude and Nosepass, right? We have Nosepass already. Um, would she get Golem? It's a possibility, right? Well, I think it's possible she'd get Golem. Um, could it be Aerodactyl Kaputops? I, I do think. Uh, I, I do think. Um, Roxanne could be in this in a similar situation as as um uh as Brock, right? Because Brock basically chooses between Aerodactyl, Kabutops, uh Omastar and, 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 and Golem, right? And Roxanne could be in the similar position as well. Except maybe instead of the Kanto fossils, you swap in the Hoenn fossils, right? Fossils. Fossils and living fossils, including maybe Relicanth, right? Which is not, you know, right. Uh, but yeah, Roxanne probably in a similar position as that. Uh, she does have Aggron in the World Tournament, but again, I do think Steven is much more fitting for Aggron, right? Moving on, Phoebe. Uh, Phoebe, where do you have Dusclops? Right. Sableye would be nice, because Sableye is her Mega in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, right? Um, it is Sableye, and not Bonnet, but on the other hand, she has two Bonnets, so... <laughs> and and she has like you know, two Dusclops and they gave her Dusnoir so they could also give her Banette because she has two Banette give her one uh, but yeah either, either one of these are, are are possible right? I don't think any of the other ones are very very likely in comparison Norman Mr. Norman so he's, he's got the same Pokemon three times uh, or 2.5 times uh, so <laughs> oh it would be cool if uh It'll be cool if they actually give um, Norman Zigzag Goon, right? Because he, uh, you know, lent that to Wally, right? Um, yeah. Is for as as for the Emerald version, also got Lunoon Spinda, um, rematch got you know different Pokemon as well. But Spinda would be interesting, right? Lunoon again would be nice as well if we get it like a Lunoon Zigzag Goon. I do think. As much as I love Spend, I, I, I do think Lanoon and Zigzagoon would be really, uh, really interesting. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what would be cool if they do Spinda? If they could do Spinda, they're, um, if they could, you know, if they do Spinda, it would be really, really cool if they gave every single player, like, a different pattern Spinda. Oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Oh, they should do that. They should hire me for ideas. Um, <laughs> that would be really, really, really nice. Wow. Um, oh, that's the greatest idea ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, maybe it's goes, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I do think Lunoon would, would would definitely be pretty cool there. Moving on to Flannery, Flannery obviously have Torkoal already. The other um, Pokemon G has Slugma, uh, so giving her Mark Cargo would be would be nice, but maybe Camera would be cool as well, right? 
Um, so, so either Marcargo or Camrapt, I think would be would be cool. Obviously, you could also have Arcanine, Rapidash, Houndoom, which are all slightly more likely since they're all in the game. But I don't think they fit Flannery as much as like Marcargo or Camerupt. Um, But again, they are in the game, so I can't say there's there's a there's no chance that she gets that. Um, so I do have to mention it, right? Especially since in in Omega Ruby Outsider, she got Numble uh, uh, or uh, Numble there, which obviously involves into Camerupt. Uh, moving on. Although the other thing is maybe in the future they get like a BP uh, maxi uh, with like camera up or or when they do release like regular um, uh, Courtney and 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 um, Ta Tabitha, right? <laughs> they could give one of them, you know, camera up or something. Um, Tain Lizza. So obviously Solar Arc Loon Tone <laughs> is what they generally use. Uh, but in their, uh, I think, what, what, was it their first rematch? Um, oh, not the first rematch. Oh, it's in Emerald, right. In Emerald, they, they gave them two more Pokemon. One being Claydol, one being Zatu. So, give one Claydol, give one Zatu. Problem solved, right? Moving on, Noland. Noland is interesting because he is Mr. Battle Factory guy. Um, which, guys, haven't played Battle Factory for a play. It's really fun. Battle Frontier Emerald, goaded. Extremely, you know, fun um, uh, part of the game. Uh, but yeah, Nolan basically doesn't really have anything. Because <laughs> he just, you know, it's, it's sort of like random. Like, there's like a lot, right? There's a lot of Battle Frontier Pokemon that you can choose from. Uh, the first one he has is Pinsir. So honestly, could be any Pokemon. Could be any Pokemon in the game. <laughs> just give him whatever. <laughs> right? Uh, moving on, Drake. Drake um, has two Flygons, or at least a Ruby Sapphire. Two Flygons, one Salamence, one Shellgon. They say something, and then Altaria. Um, we could give him Altaria, but that's also considering if we're not giving Winona Altaria, which I would prefer Winona have Altaria over Drake. So they give him Flygon, but again, Flygon's not in the game yet, so it's a bit of in there. But I guess they could also give him like Kingdra from Emerald. Uh, let's see, what does he have in Mega Ruby off Sapphire? Kingdra also has Kingdra in there. Yeah, I think maybe Kingdra then. Unless they could add a Flygon in the game, then definitely Flygon, right? Flygon would be really, really, really nice for Drake. Uh, but if don't, if they they're not planning on doing that, then maybe Kingdra. Because again, I do prefer if they kept Altaria for um, BP Winona, right? Uh, Brendan, same thing as me. Right, basically same thing as May. Maybe Brandon gets like another starter. Maybe Brandon gets Swampert or whatever. Or if not, Brandon gets like uh uh either Swellow or one of the Claydol, Exploud, or Raichu. Again, it's it's a protagonist slash rival. It's almost impossible to predict what he's gonna get, right? Um, because theoretically protagonists could get any Pokemon they want. Last one before we go here, Brawly. Brawly starts off with Machop and Makuita, so if we give him a champ, that would make sense. Uh, but it's slightly awkward to give like every fighting, <laughs> every fighting trainer like Machamp. So maybe Magicham, right? A Gen three fighting type Pokemon would would be would be nice. Um, I'd love to see him have Breloom because I love Breloom, and I don't know if anyone's ever gonna get Breloom. So <laughs> give someone Breloom, man. DNA, please. But yeah. Uh, well, that's maybe this one, I guess. Hope you guys, let me guys, think in the comments down below. Like me this video, subscribe channel for some more. Pokemon matters. Comment, let me guys think. Uh, Hoenn gym leaders, or not gym leaders, just Hoenn trainers in general. Uh, what do you think they should get for their BP sync pairs? And uh, yeah, have fun, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next one.